November storm Abigail is battering the country with gale force winds and we're in North Wales which can mean only one thing yes of course we're testing the new Mazda MX-5 Roadster it might be freezing outside but there's a warm glow in the cabin the heat is belting out hot air of course but it's not just that it's also that feeling you get when you have a suspicion that the world's best-selling sports car has just been made a lot better It would be an exaggeration to say that the MX-5 had got fat, but growth with each version did mean that it wasn't as lean as it used to be, and some of the purity of the original MX-5 was starting to get lost. So to win back its fans, Mazda has dusted off the old recipe and put together a car that's shorter, wider and lower than the old one, and weighs the least since the original at just around a ton. Just looking at the MX-5 standing still, you know that it's going to handle well, but it just takes a quick drive, even in town, to realise how important light weight and perfect 50-50 weight distribution are for the handling. You can almost think the MX-5 through corners, because it feels so light on its feet. And while the steering isn't too darty just off-centre, which means it's a little bit more relaxing on the motorway, when you do turn properly into a corner, it's incredibly well weighted, and has real precision but while the steering is good the gearbox is absolutely superb i've become quite a fan of smooth shifting automatics recently but if every car had this amazing six speed i wouldn't need to be it completely immerses you in the driving experience we're in the two litre petrol with 158 bhp which some people say isn't enough power for a sports car but in actual fact we'd be tempted to go for the 1.5 with just 128 horsepower because it revs a bit more sweetly to around 1000 rpm more than the 2 litre and it weighs less and that's the thing with the Mazda it's not about how fast you're going but it is all about how much fun you're having from behind the steering wheel yes the 2 litre is probably better if you want to drive your MX-5 on track because it comes with a rear limited slip differential as standard as well as bigger 17 inch wheels and if you go for the sport trim you get uprated Bilstein suspension but the 1.5 feels a bit sweeter on the road and is slightly more agile the standard suspension is softer than you might think with quite a bit of body roll in corners but apparently Mazda's engineers wanted to keep this in to give you more of a sensation of speed and help you feel exactly what the car is doing at all four corners it also makes the MX-5 surprisingly comfortable for longer trips the only downside is that over some sharp press, the suspension can feel a little bit floaty, even though it rarely upsets the handling or actually leaves the ground altogether. How about the interior? Well, there's not much of it, of course, but what you do get is very decent, and we think that the materials and this switch gear is a bit better quality than you'll find in a GT86 or BRZ. We also love these body coloured door trims which flow down into the front wings and the fact that you sit very low to the ground. A word of warning though, I'm 5 foot 11 and I feel like I'm a part of the car, but the lack of reach for the steering and the fact that the seat only goes forward and back so far means that taller people might not be as comfortable as I am. What do you get? Well, we'd avoid the SE trim and start with the SEL version because that brings this touchscreen and controller along with DAB digital radio which brings the cabin more up to date. There are also plenty of handy features like these USB chargers, a handy slot with high grip matting for your phone and a place to put your keys down here. At first glance it may look like there's no glove box but it's actually found here between the seats and it's lockable. There are also these cup holders, which aren't ideal if you've got very hot coffee as you can knock them with your elbow. Also, if you love music, it might be worth upgrading to the Sport trim because that replaces the standard four speaker stereo with a nine speaker Bose unit, which also includes near field speakers placed in the headrests. So the MX-5 is definitely no family car with a 130 litre boot but it is more usefully shaped than the old cars, even if that one had 20 litres more space. If you're deciding between this or a GT86, 
then this could be the crunch point as that car is a coupe with 100 litres more space. But on the plus side, this is one convertible where stowing the roof doesn't have any effect on boot space. The MX-5 is as well known for its great value as its fun handling. And at 18495, we can't think of any cars that are as fun for the money. In fact, this car is more fun than some costing six figures. And my personal choice, the 1.5 SEL Nav in Arctic White, doesn't even break the 20 grand barrier. Not only that, but the MX-5 doesn't really have any direct rivals anymore. But if you did fancy some rear-wheel drive fun, the GT86 starts from £22,700. OK, so I probably gave this away in the intro, so it'll come as no surprise that I love the new MX-5. It's fun to drive, but unlike the latest crop of mega hatches, your heart rate can spike at just 30 or 40 miles per hour. But to cap it all, the MX-5 is the sports car for anyone. If you have a job and love cars, then you can probably afford it. So that gives you access to a great driver's car without the need for a winning lottery ticket. But do you think the MX-5 will continue to be the world's best-selling sports car? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Click on the inquire button to find out more details about this car or for any other models, visit carkeys.co.uk. And to watch more reviews, click one of the links on screen now.